Hello everyone, and welcome to another Off-Road Update. After the first six rounds of the 2024 GNCC season, the XC2 class had been controlled by Landers Racing KTM teammates Grant Davis and Gus Reardon. Davis held the points lead coming into round seven at Powerline Park with consistent podium finishes and two wins. Reardon, despite winning three of the first six events, had a seventh place finish at Camp Coker that left him just slightly off the points lead. Defending champion Liam Draper had also put in consistent podium performances, although a mechanical DNF at round two in Florida had the defending champ on the Ampro Yamaha fighting well behind in the points. As the riders headed into Ohio for the seventh round of the season, whoever took the win was going to take a big chunk of momentum heading into the rest of the season. When the XC2 class fired off the line, it was points leader Grant Davis grabbing the hole shot and carrying the lead through the opening chicane. Behind him came Phoenix Honda's Cody Barnes, Liquid Molly Beta teammates Jay Lipscomb and Brody Johnson, as well as FXR Husqvarna's Toby Cleveland. A few miles into lap one, Davis held the lead with Johnson in second and Barnes in third. Reardon and Draper had made up for poor starts to come through in fourth and fifth, with Lipscomb, Thad Duvall, Rui Barbosa, and Cleveland rounding out the field. As the riders popped out of the woods just after the Pro Hill climb, there was no change in the order, but the group was tightening up behind the leader, Davis. When the field checked in for the first lap of racing, Davis came through with the class lead, but also into second overall on adjusted time with the XC1 riders ahead of him. Behind him, the running order had shifted as Barnes, Reardon, Draper, and Duvall had all gained a position at the misfortune of Johnson. Halfway through the second lap, and Davis was still in control and physically with the back end of the XC1 riders. Reardon and Draper had made their way past Barnes with Duvall right in tow to make it a four rider fight for the runner up position on track. Johnson was still back in six where he would remain the rest of the day. Near the end of the second lap and there was no shift in the order, no the overall track positions as Davis still held the second overall spot amongst the XC1 field. The four pack behind him was still grouped together, never breaking away to make a run at the lead position. That trend continued in the beginning of lap three as the only excitement was from this moment right here as Barnes throttle hand came off on the fastest part of the track. Fortunately though, he held on and kept his position. Pit stops and mud holes changed the order through the fourth lap as Davis controlled the lead over new second place rider Draper with Duvall in third as Reardon and Barnes had both slipped back to round out the top five. Nearing the end of lap five and Davis as well as Draper were by themselves as the battle for third was on between Duvall and Reardon. With the white flag out, Reardon made the pass on Kawasaki's Duvall and set sail after Draper. Midway through the final lap, Davis, who had been riding alone all day, face planted into the Ohio dirt. No matter though, as the championship leader picked himself up, albeit with a busted lip, and took the checkered flag just ahead of Draper for his third win of the season. Reardon came through in third with Duvall and Barnes rounding out the top five. Yeah, uh, well, I led from start to finish. I finally got a hole shot this year. I've been close pretty much every race. And then uh, I seen Liam started. We were running like 30, 40 seconds apart all day. And then uh, I kept getting pit boards saying I'm only 10 seconds from the overall. I was pushing hard for it. Last lap, I came into a turn, probably like six mile marker. Watched my front end just absolutely face planted off the ground. I bit my lip. I sm smoked my neck off the ground too and everything. I got up and I seen Liam in the field here and I'm like, oh shoot, I gotta go. <laughs> and I put the hammer down and we got it done though. And extended the points lead, so it's a good day. Thank you everyone for watching. Round 8 of the 2024 GNCC season takes place at High Point Raceway in Mount Morris, Pennsylvania on June 1st and 2nd for the Mason-Dixon GNCC. I'll see you guys there.